everyone welcome to another video this video actually is going to be split into a few different parts most of the video actually is a shopping vlog so but i wanted to talk about this bit because it really is interesting me at the moment i've been looking at fendi and in looking at fendi i've noticed i remember how much that was a couple of months ago and actually that hasn't gone up much in the grand scheme of things and it includes a bag from Chanel where uh, it's gone up by £10. And in this, as I say, in this day and age of massive price increases, and particularly from Chanel, where they've had price increases upward of 30% in the last year, for it to have gone up by £10 is mad. But I'm also going to do an unboxing. One, I'll probably do it now. And also another luxury haul at the end of this video. I'm also going to do a giveaway, so it's going to be two hauls, a vlog, shopping vlog, and a giveaway. Talking about this then, I guess in a way this is a tip. You know, I always talk to you about things, like I, I always talk to you about things that I think are worth it, things that I think are not, and me as a person, I'm always looking to enjoy the things that I like in life and buy the things that I like, but also I like to know that I've got the best deal possible. And that's something that I have I always hope comes across to all of you, that you make up your own decision, you go and buy what you want, but it's just advice and it's just my thoughts. And I hope that some of the advice has helped you, uh, some of you watching. Before I show you the top four or five products that haven't had exorbitant price rises, shall I do the first unboxing now? Let's do that and then we'll get into detail on the rest of it because the rest of this in a way is quite juicy. This unboxing is quite quirky. Have a look at this. This is an Easter unboxing and this is what the giveaway is about. And if you want to enter the giveaway, I would say to do it fairly urgently because the winner's going to be drawn. This is an Easter kind of spring prize and it's one that's actually been sent to me so I wasn't expecting this because there are 50 of these up for grabs and I'm going to show you what's in them. This is a leaflet that comes with it. This is actually from Karma. Some of you might know Karma because they have they, they are basically a shopping tool, a shopping app that gets you discounts and stuff like that and cash back. They're really good and that is where this is from so if we start by opening it and that leaflet basically tells you about the tool and kind of how it works and then this looks good this apparently is 3d printed and it's biodegradable so if i choose to put it in the bin it will kind of melt down into paper for easter we are having everyone over and i'm going to do an easter egg hunt if it doesn't rain and i'm thinking that for my nieces and nephews i might put the sweets in these to kind of keep the sweets clean when i because i'm going to hide them in the garden let's start with the first one and see what's in it and as i say wow this is a long champ bag <sighs> what this is the pliage in the mini size Wow. Have a look at this. I'm going to do some model shots so that you can have a look as well. This has got leather trim on it. It's got the logo printed on the back as well as on the metal um, kind of closure thing there. Does it come with... It's got a crossbody strap on it. That's set a precedence actually now for the kind of things that are going to be in this and I'm very excited to see what's up next. That is lovely. Here's the next one. It's something from Chanel. Whoa! Do you see what I mean? Whoever's going to win this is going to love it. This is a face cream and a full-size lipstick. Let's have a look at the lipstick. Ooh, that is nice. That is a semi-matte, by the look of it, lipstick in a really soft red. It's not kind of like deep. That's the kind of thing that... I think if I hold it there. That's the kind of thing that I would try wearing. Next, let's have a look at this purple one. As I say, whoever wins, and there are 50 of these up for grabs. What is this? Ray-Ban. We've got a glasses cleaner here, like a cloth. And there is a small little box. It's got sunglasses in it. And they fold up. Oh, these are going to be amazing in tiny handbags. The arms fold out fully. Let's try these on. And actually when they're folded out, you can't see the joins. 
what do we think there's a mirror there i would actually wear these this is the kind of style that i would actually wear oh they're good they are really nice and then the final egg this one's quite heavy honestly who you're going to be amazed this is joe malone and that that is one of their full-sized colognes so they do two size of colognes i think one is 50 mil and this one looks like the 30 mil this is indeed 30 mil and this is in the basil and neroli cologne spray and there separately is this which is this is the more expensive line of uh, perfumes or colognes from their range and everything in black bottles or like the black candles or the black body creams they're all the most expensive because they have um like oud in them and things this is oud with velvet rose and i've tried that i've got this that i use in the bath and that is really nice everything in that is pretty amazing actually and as i say i will link below to how you can enter because the draw closes pretty soon so if you and it's free to enter of course you haven't got to pay to enter anyway going back to our topic there are still brands out there that are discountable but the number is reducing and i said to you last year there are two brands in particular that you could always get discounts on and it was um ysl and prada and then prada pulled out of coupon codes first and then ysl did and uh, i mean my personal thoughts are that i think they did that to regain exclusivity because i don't know how many of you feel the same but with prada i feel that before they brought back the reissue in when 2020 they weren't really certainly not for me they weren't really a brand that had anything that really caught my eye certainly not when it came to handbags but bringing that back and bringing all of the nylon stuff back including the ready to wear i feel has kind of boosted them and why would you want to be included in coupon codes when you're trying to turn things around but other brands you can get discounts on are like Givenchy, balenciaga Balmain and to be honest there are loads of other iconic brands that I can't think of right now that you can get discounts on if you did want to get a discount on bags or clothes from any of those brands it is in a way quite easy to get those discounts but sometimes you have to wait to play the long game and wait for coupon codes to come up one reasonably quick way of finding a coupon code if there indeed is one that is live is to, is to use that karma tool so karma is a free chrome extension there's a link below to it the link is not affiliate and if you click on the link it will go through the install process for you but the first thing that it does is when you get to the checkout on loads of retailers it automatically scans the internet for you and looks for a coupon code and if there actually are any it will make you aware and i will say over the years it saved me a lot of money and i haven't got to go around the internet copying and pasting codes that don't work it also lets you save things so if you're shopping but you you're not sure if you want to buy something let's say that balenciaga bag you're thinking do i want it but you don't want to forget that it was one of the things you were looking at it lets you save those items down into your own private account then if that item ever goes on sale if there is ever a coupon code or if it's out of stock and you want stock notifications it gives you notifications about those things and you can save all of your stuff down into lists so you can see i've got quite a lot of lists here and i've got like shoes bags coats and i do that bit, like to section things out and to make it easier for me plus you can also get cash back so that's the probably the quickest way i would say that you can actually get a discount never pay full price for those brands because genuinely you don't have to here are some examples though of brands where you can't get discounts on them but they haven't had for some reason on some of their most iconic products they haven't had these exorbitant price rises and therefore i would suggest in just my opinion but i would suggest that they are still worth getting because they are iconic they are long term and the prices haven't shot up by hundreds and hundreds of pounds and i'm going to talk about fendi first because the the baguette bag i looked at this last year in the smallest size and last year it was 1560 pounds and i do remember thinking that for an iconic bag it was the all leather version and it's fendi i do remember thinking that's a really good price that's kind of prada money that's definitely ysl money and 
to me in my head, Fendi as a brand it, it is higher than Saint Laurent. But another bag from Fendi that is new out and therefore I thought this was going to be a lot more expensive than it actually is, and I think it's really good value, is this. This is the Fendigraphy and it is £1,850. And this is the small size, but have a look at it. It's not actually that small to me. That's it's quite a big size bag. I wouldn't, if I was looking at that bag, which I kind of am, I wouldn't want anything bigger than that. And I've seen it in real life. And that size is, at, it's like this, you know, it's not tiny. You could fit a lot of stuff into it. In my mind, it's not a small size bag, but that's what they've called it. And do you see what I mean? In this time where even the medium size Lady Dior is now £4,100, which I think is a lot of money now, to be able to go to Fendi and buy quality iconic stuff under £2,000 is actually kind of mind-blowing. Gucci is another brand that you need to take a look at because they, I, I feel like their price increases, are, oh, of course they've had them, but I feel that on their canvas pieces in particular, those price rises haven't been huge per item. Now, a couple of weeks back, I showed you this, which is the Gucci pouch. And I showed you a hack that's really good, actually. And I'm gonna show you it again, don't worry, in, in um, the video that I did on Sunday, go back and watch that if you haven't, and I show you the hack of how you can turn that into a functioning handbag. When I showed you that back, back in, I think it must have been February, that, was 585 pounds and it's a decent size it's it's like a really good large size of bag and i know it's a pouch but you can convert it that has gone up to 670 pounds it's gone up by by a fair amount but not huge and it's not the amount that it's gone up by is not to me so much that it makes it at this point not worth it anymore i do still think that that's worth it and actually when i showed that bag that bag sold out i will link to it below but it, if you're into if you're into that bag go and check it out because it's really good and that, it's still good value and then finally one that surprises me the most is from chanel and it's the classic square uh, in like obviously in the tiniest size the mini size and this surprises me because the other classic flaps are all five, six, six thousand pounds plus, and there seems to be a really big gap between the rectangle and the square, price-wise, and the where the classic flaps start in the other sizes, which is at the small, which is like six thousand, because the rectangle and the square are both in the three thousand pounds bracket, and actually the square is the best value bag I can tell you to get from there. I actually think it's even better value than the wallet on a chain because you can do more with it and it is an actual bag. Of course it depends what you need it for. You might be someone who the wallet on a chain is adequate. You don't need anything bigger than that. But you can fit as much in the square as you actually can in the small size flap bag because the small size flap bag has got flaps going on in it that actually take up quite a bit of room. And at the time of this video, the price increase on the mini square is £20. I thought it would be at least £100. I'm surprised that it is the increase that it is. And I urge any of you who have got that kind of money and you're looking to spend that kind of money and you want to know what can I actually get that's decent for that. If you're into Chanel as a brand, I really think the square mini is, or even the rectangle, both of them are worth it and I would say to buy them before they get into the 4,000s because they will. They're, they're definitely going to get there, the rectangle's on its way for sure. If you disagree with any of this, please share it. I would be, I, you know, I love to get your feedback. Even if you disagree, you are all welcome to share what you think. This is a democracy, you can say what you think in the comments, so let me know if you disagree, or actually, if there are any other brands, any other bags that you think, Sophie, you forgot about this one, this one's also not gone up by much and it's so worth it, please share that below, because I know a lot of you watch and read the comments to get tips and ideas from each other, so please share that. Um, I will link again to the uh, giveaway and to where you can download and sign up to Karma below. I'll link to both of those things below. And now let's go shopping. We're gonna head to Fortnum & Mason first 
and it is just next to the Ritz and that's the Ritz there for anyone who due to Covid hasn't travelled for a while or hasn't been out for a while you might be interested in seeing everything that's going on in London Yeah, we could we found this restaurant in here and we could we could go in and get some food if there's anything you like on there the only thing i could eat would be the chicken it looks quite fancy actually I'm not no just... you're not hungry enough for that no i just have a cheesecake <laughs> cheesecake um we can keep looking i'm sure there's another oh they do have a banana okay. oh yeah I'm sure there's another restaurant in here. If you wanted to go and have a look around. We were just saying, David was like, there are those baskets that everyone likes. How much are they anyway? Let's have a look. No prices. £75 for a small hamper. Wow. I suppose you do get stuff in it. Well, I hope so. Well, £75, yeah, you'd hope so. Um, this one? I don't know. I bet that's loads. We're gonna go upstairs now because it's tea and, huh? Something does smell good. Here's what you've got in here. I, I didn't know quite what was in here, but it looks like there's like beauty stuff, stationery, food. Uh, it's mainly food, stationery and beauty by the look of it. Let's go up. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? On the next floor, it's kind of dinnerware, crockery. This is nice for your tea. These are all nice gifts, I think. I will say, everyone, it's incredibly calm in here. I feel really at peace in here. It's very, very relaxed. And unlike Harrods, it's not really busy, but then I suppose that's because the stuff in here is quite niche, I would say. We're on the next floor and it's perfumery here. Look, look at all of this. I think, I love the way the perfume's displayed in these vases. This area has got sort of pajamas and loungewear. These are lovely. Oh, candles, honey, honey candles. I he have heard, apparently Fortnum and Mason's have got a beehive. Oh, it smells good. They've got beehive on the roof here. We're now on the top floor, as I mentioned, that's got the perfume in it and kind of pajama wear and things like that. And we've come over into. I'm sorry, it's what? not the top floor. Is it not the top we're floor? Only the oh, we're only on the second floor. Yeah, we're on the floor. Oh, okay. I we're mean, only on. We're on the second floor, and I thought I would go and show you some of the jewelry items, and also there's some really cute hair bands here, actually. And downstairs. We've just noticed that they sell vintage, look, vintage pieces as well. We, um, what did we just do? Went for we, some street food. We did go for some street food, which we didn't film because it was a case of, like, grab your food and then sit there and eat it really quickly. Um, so I didn't film that, but we're just now walking through Soho and we're in front of the theatre where the Moulin Rouge is and um, I thought I'm just going to film this as we go. Yeah. And then there's London Trocadero at the end. Let me flip this around for you. That is what we are looking at. We've made it to, uh, oh look, nice car. We've made it to Covent Garden and I love the shops around here. Look, this is the astrology shop. Should we go in? So it's all like gemstones. Let's go in. It smells really nice, like incense. Hey, I um I just went in there and I got I'll show you it when I got home, but I got a really cute little incense holder from when you're burning incense. And now we're going to walk up the street because there is another shop here that sells Hello Kitty and I, I hope it's still here. I remember it from years ago. So we're going to go and walk up and see if we can find it. 
we've made it. The shop is called Art Box. I know this is an acquired taste. Not everyone is into this kind of thing, but you know, I, I love it. Look, I love it in here for the stationery. Uh, like, they do really good pens and uh, pens and like notebooks. Jesse, all the rabbits. This is such an acquired taste. <laughs> I'm in a taxi. Sorry, it's really wobbly, but I'm in the taxi. Do you want to see what we got? We're gonna. Um, we're heading back to Harrods now because it's really cold actually. And but we've had a nice walk around. It's been really nice. And I'll show you. I'll show you what we got. This is from Art Box, and I got uh, a notebook, like lined notebook. Gwenny, if you're watching, I'm actually using yours at the moment. Gwenny, who's also a YouTuber, and I'll link to her channel below, she sent me a really nice Hello Kitty notebook. And I also got this, which is a heart-shaped compact mirror. And then I also got a Hello Kitty pen. And David, what did you get again? Oh yeah, I got David some stuff yes. um, for, like, from this kind of comic shop we went into it wasn't a comic shop though I don't know what you call it but David's really into Cobra Kai and there was like a mug and it's cute I thought I'd get him that and then also we went into that other um you know the astrology shop and I got an incense thing there which I'll show you later but yeah the plan is now when we get back to Harrods I want to have a look at these um like sneaker trainer things that are from dior and i saw them online a couple of weeks ago and i went in to see enrique at the time but they didn't have them and then he managed to get them and they're in today but he's not actually in today so i'm gonna see who's there that can help me because i think he's put them by now i think dior i always lose my bearings in here i think it's through there here we are Ooh, look at that. That is different. So is that. Right, we're going to go in, head in, see if we can find these shoes. Oh, we've got some new stuff going on here. I do like that bag. Yeah, I've seen this before. That is, it's like a bar jacket, but it's quilted. Nice. Mm. What do we all think about these shoes? This is the flat version, but you can get them in the heeled version as well. What do you think? What do you think of them? We're going to check out this uh, Prada pop-up. I don't know. Is it a cafe or is it a boutique? I'm not sure. We'll find out. So it's like a little boutique in, in a coffee shop. Tiny mini bags. What did you put in there? Lip salve. I don't know what you'd put in there. Asking David what he thinks of the sparkly bags. I feel like they're a trend, but I like it. But I do feel like they're a trend. I don't like them. You don't like them? David doesn't like them. That's cool. It's like a beach hut, in a way. I'm here, I'm waiting. So basically that earring, that earring there, it's like a really cheap piercing that I put in there while the other piercing was broken. So they're gonna take that out, they can put that in the bin, it's, it's like rubbish. They're gonna take that out and put the replacement one in, the one that broke. Let me show you, um, let me show you what I bought. This is quite unconventional. Normally I'd sit down and show you, but it's Sunday and it's early and I'm in my pajamas, to be honest. 
just relaxing today. Uh, so, here we go. I haven't actually seen these since I purchased them, uh, which was a couple of weeks ago now. These are them. I've had my eye on these for the longest time and um, I, I've got a plan on how I want to wear them. So I have got, don't know how many of you remember, but from Lily Silk, I've got a long, it's actually a bed shirt, but it's too nice to be a bed shirt and I wear it. It's quite long and it comes to kind of mid thigh and I wear it with a belt around the middle and I had an idea where I want to wear the oblique belt around the middle with matching oblique uh, sneakers, trainers and then I'm going to use the 30 Montaigne that I've got as well and I tried these on and they're so incredibly comfortable let me straighten that up yeah so that's them there uh, love those and then also you know I told you I bought this incense thing from the astrology shop this is it how cute is that? It's kind of like a putty thing. And uh, those three holes on the top are where you put the incense. And these are the incense sticks that I like. I just got these on um, Amazon, I think. But the other thing that I also use as incense is this kit, which one of you sent me. Sheila, I hope you're watching. I use this a lot and it's a really, it's got um, coal in it and also incense. And then check this out. In the actual kit, you get the, the even you get the burner. And Sheila, I use this a lot. Um, I really like the smell of incense, and I try and do meditation. My head's too busy though, but when I do try, I like to get the incense out. So yeah, that's um, that's what I ended up buying. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and um, I look forward to seeing you in the next.